click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, the definition of game. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Locario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody on the Bad Boy membership. Remember that the Bad Boy membership contest is still ongoing. You can win the Bad Boy cologne from Carolina Herrera, New York. It smells really dope. You can win a timepiece. Um, I think this month's timepiece is from the guest collection, not the regular guest, but like guest collection. Go look it up if you want to see the guest collection watches. They're a little bit more, you know, I guess flyer or doper than the average guest watch. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's a really nice timepiece. Um, and of course, the $100 gift certificate, right? Because it's we're just trying to say thank you to the people that are on the Bad Boy membership. And every month we're going to pick one lucky winner and send them these items. And, you know, again, we're just trying to add value to the Bad Boy membership and say thank you to all the people that support the Bad Boy membership. We really appreciate you guys. All right. So get on that Bad Boy membership. Go to www.badboymembership.com to get on the Bad Boy membership. Also, if you get on the Bad Boy membership, remember, you can watch the Game Kings documentary for free. Anytime you want. You see what I'm saying? Or if you don't want to get on the Bad Boy membership, boy membership but you want to watch the, the Game Kings documentary, go to www.mrlocario.com and you can watch the Game Kings documentary. You can you can download it and watch it. You know what I'm saying? So go get that. All right. Um, what else is there? Also got a 60 minute consultations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the link is in is in there. So if you want to chop up some game, if you got questions, you want to talk, blah, blah, blah. You understand? But other than that, make sure you hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. Uh, we, we always trying to fight the algorithm. So hit the like button and comment. The truth is inside you. Comment. The truth is inside you because comments help the video as well. So, you know, if just, you know, take a little bit of time and do hashtag. The truth is inside you. Appreciate it. All right. So today, what I want to talk about real quick is <clears throat> the vetting process. I want to talk about an important aspect of the vetting pro process, right? Now, Lucario has told you guys again and again, you know, it's it's on the Bad Boy membership and it's in the live streams and Lucario has done videos on this and it's something I agree with very much, right? And that's that has to do with the vetting process. So Lucario talks about you know, after you you already seeing a girl for a while and y'all having sex and y'all y'all dating, y'all going out, y'all spending time with each other and so on and so forth, the vetting process should take at least twelve to eighteen months until you even think about becoming committed or calling this female your girlfriend. You understand? And a lot of guys don't understand why he says that. You know, um, and the reason is. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. There's a whole lot of reasons. I mean, you you know, we have to, you know, we have to understand what longevity is. We have to make sure the chick actually wants to really mess with us, like really wants to be a part of our lives and, you know, wants to be a contributing factor in our lives and not just with us for the sex, not just with us for the convenience, not just with us for the resources, you understand? Not just with us for being able to, you know, go out on dates or whatever, you understand? Not just with us for attention, but they actually, you know, respect and and like who you are as a man and want to be a part of your life and want to be with you, right? But <clears throat> there's a practical reason for this and it's called NRE or new relationship energy new relationship energy right now basically what new relationship energy is is when you get intense feelings of uh you know like you know intense emotional feelings or whatever dealing with a new person right now i'm not i'm not going to even talk about the feelings that us men get dealing with females that's a whole nother video all right because a lot of y'all mo <laughs> a lot of y'all niggas be catching feelings out there. So don't front like y'all don't catch feelings. I've caught feelings before, you know. So I know y'all niggas caught feelings before. You understand what I'm saying? So I ain't even going that, but like I said, that's a whole another video, right? But what I want to talk about is the feelings that that a woman catches. You understand? And it has to do with this thing called new relationship energy, NRE. Now this is when your brain gets covered in these these chemicals that your body produces uh, 
there's dopamine, there's serotonin, and there is vasopressin. You understand? I'm, I'm just looking all this stuff up. Um, my, uh, my lady, shout out to my lady because she's a, um, she's a health professional, so she knows she knows about all this shit. So she was telling me about this shit. Um, but yeah, and I and I also went and I looked up new relationship energy, and it's something that um, that you know, relate re- like certified licensed relationship therapists and marriage counselors and people like that talk about. You go look it up for yourself. N R E or new relationship energy, right? And they talk about it now. Here's the thing. When you first start dealing with a chick, she's going to feel a certain way towards you, especially if she likes you. You're on point. You're on the bad boy membership. You know how to talk to her. You got your mouthpiece. You got your confidence up. You're making this whole thing a lifestyle. Right. So you're a player, but you're thorough. You understand? You you know how to treat a woman, meaning you're not simping, but you know how to run your game so a woman can be pleasantly impressed and sees you as the type of person that she can see you know she can see herself getting used to spending time with you why because you're on point you do your thing you know i'm saying you know how to you know how to smash good you know how to plan and set up a date you got confidence you know how to talk you know you carry yourself well you know how to dress you always smell good you always look good you always you know you're just you're just 100 percent dude and you're solid you understand what i'm saying so you have chicks out there, they're not used to that type of man. So what happens is they get that new relationship energy. Their brains are covered in, what I said, dopamine, serotonin, and vasopressin. You understand what I'm saying? These chemicals that, you know, um, are responsible for an intense emotional feeling of connection, right? An intense emotional feeling that probably get, gets associated with sex or arousal or just that new type of feeling. Now, Based on the research and all of the stuff that has that I've that I've looked up that talking about new relationship energy, a lot of this energy in the average person, it, they say it takes at least twelve months for this energy to dissipate and level off. You understand what I'm saying? It takes twelve months for this type of energy to dissipate and level off. Some people it takes more, some people it take less. It takes less, but they say on average it takes just about twelve months. For this type of energy to dissipate and level off right so now after that 12 months period that 12 month period where all of these chemicals dissipate now you get to see who you're really dealing with so and i'm sure you guys also heard about what's called the honeymoon phase it's the same it's the same basic idea it's basically the honeymoon phase but i guess they got more uh in depth with the research and they came up with this new term right um in the research i did they also talked about poly relationships and um how that you know um how that kind of like shows itself in those relationships because if you have a person dealing with multiple relationships what will happen is when they catch with the when they catch up with the new relationship they'll put all their energy into the new relationship and forget their old relationship even though they're supposed to be polyamorous and they're supposed to be taking care of and managing all their relationships you understand so people find out a lot about new relationship energy especially dealing with those types of um you know situations right um and again shout out to lucario for you know talking about this type of vetting process right because he is a polyamorous man like he has a wife he has a girlfriend and he still dates other women so he understands what goes into the management of multiple relationships and possibilities of NRE, new relationship energy, and things of that nature. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so, <clears throat> but getting back to the vetting process, this is why you have to leave some time to deal with and talk and, you know, deal with the woman over a period of time. She has to show her intentions over a period of time because those first few months, especially the first six months, the first six to eight months, that's just her responding to her, you know, you understand what I'm saying? To the, to the good feeling, to the good intense feeling that she gets from being with you. She's not really, she don't really like you. She just likes the way she feels when she's with you. You get what I'm saying? And there's a difference, you understand? So you, these are things that we have to take into consideration when we're thinking about vetting a chick. And this is real shit. Like I said, go look it up if you need to. Go look it up because... These are things that we have to take into consideration when we're dealing with chicks. Like, chicks will be excited to to mess with you simply because you're a come up. Like, I was dealing with a chick the other day, and I ain't gonna say her name or nothing like that. You feel me? But 
she didn't really have much going on in her life. And she was going through some shit. She was in between apartments and she was in between jobs and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, and then after a while, she started getting all clingy and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Act, act real funny type. And I'm just looking at, and, and she, you, you saw, you, like I, I saw the new, the NRE. I saw the new relationship energy. And on top of that, she, I'm sure she was looking at me like I was a come up. You understand what I'm saying? So all these things I was taking into consideration. This is why I don't, I don't rush. I don't, I don't. And I, again, I believe in what Lucario says about giving them time. You got to give them time. Because when they start giving you ultimatums, and, oh, wait, are, you know, are we dating with intentions and all of this shit? Be like, look. What's your intention, bitch? Like, are you here for the long haul? Are you here to actually be with me? Or are you just trying to get a come up? Or are you just trying to, you know, you know, up your status from single chick to girlfriend just so you could go around and tell people that you have a boyfriend? You understand? And believe me, that's a part of the game, too. A lot of these chicks, they just want to be able to say they have a man. You understand? And that's what a lot of guys don't understand. A lot of you guys running around not even knowing your own value, not realizing that even just giving a chick the label elevates her status you feel me it, it that elevates her status that puts her in another position and that's and that's because of you but you she knows your value but you don't know your value but anyway that's a whole nother video as well <laughs> all right but anyway so you got this thing new relationship energy like i said it takes a certain amount of time for it to dissipate and after that relationship energy when you see that a person is still trying to mess with you still wanting to spend time with you still trying to have sex with you still wanting to be a part of your life and to not only be a part of your life but to contribute to your life like contribute to your purpose contribute to your business you understand like make things easier for you and 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 they want to actually be there not because they need to be but because they want to be you understand what I'm saying? Because they want to be, because they literally enjoy the person that you are and they enjoy life with you. They enjoy living life with you. That's when you can begin to consider giving her a title of girlfriend and say, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know, I'll make you my girl and this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to run it. This is going to be the schedule. This is what we going to, you know, this is how we're going to make it happen. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes think it's just on some, you know, it's like, oh, well, you're just going to you're just making chicks wait just for the sake of making them wait. But there are real reasons. There are real reasons not to rush into it. There are real reasons not to rush into any of these things. You understand what I'm saying? Because in, like for, for you guys, for you guys who are a little bit more advanced, who, who get a lot of women and who've been in a lot of relationships. Don't you ever see that there's a pattern like you meet a chick, you fucking date her for about three months and then somewhere along the way bet between the three to six months area it, it it fizzles out you understand i'm sure that a few of you experienced this i've experienced this you understand what i'm saying i know many of my homeboys who've experienced this you understand so it's a it's always a thing there's always a, a factor of the honeymoon stage there's always a factor of new relationship energy that we have to that we have to assess and we have to get past it you understand we have to get past it till we get so we can get to the real because we, we we talk about the truth is inside you yeah the truth the truth is going to show itself inside her after the you know the 12 to 18 to 18 month mark you understand when 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 she's when she's you know bored with dating you and she still wants to actually just chill and sit in silence with you why because she enjoys spending time with you just on some simple shit that's when you know somebody's there for you you understand what I'm saying? That's when you know it's it's a little bit more real than just the average, oh yeah, let's hang out. You understand what I'm saying? And that's really what you're looking for. You're looking for the type of female that is really fucking with you for you. Because none of because all of you know, all, all these guys talk about female nature and hypergamy and how chicks divorce niggas and take their shit and blah blah blah. But that's because most of you most guys that are out there have having this happen to them, they made decisions for the wrong reasons. You understand they they either felt pressured by society or by their their girl or by their friends or by the girl's family or by you understand or, or by his own family probably tried to probably pressured him into marrying the chick much quicker than he was ready for you understand and then what happens is they still in that new energy relationship phase they get married you understand there's people out here getting married in three months or something and i'm looking at them like i don't, I don't know but you know, do you, do you, if it's real, I hope it's real. Uh, and I don't wish you, I don't wish you no ill, but I rather wait. I rather wait till we've, we've exhausted all of the, all of the bullshit 
to the point where we're, we're actually bored doing shit with each other and we and we could just sit and chill and just vibe off of each other's energy why because that's where we actually want to be you understand a lot of people out there are they're not happy simply because they let these situations make them make these committed decisions and these overwhelming overwhelming life changing life changing decisions way too early before they even know who who they are themselves and then they attach themselves to another person who's not really for them they're just responding to the new relationship energy or they're responding to the honeymoon phase honeymoon phase can can go on for a while according to this it could go on for 12 for 12 months even even a little bit longer depending on the person right so we have to be careful we have to be careful who we're giving our commitment to you understand these again um a, a real the real female that's really down for you should be willing to earn your commitment they should be willing to earn your commitment they should be willing to sacrifice over time for your your commitment your guidance your resources your time your energy your your provision your protection your leadership your game you understand what i'm saying i mean i'm the type of man that as long as a woman shows me a certain level of respect and 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 complies and does and does what i need her to do as my woman in my life i'm willing to lay down my life for her you understand what i'm saying that's a whole nother video too right but as a man that's what you do when you when you have somebody in your life that is vital and enhances your life and 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 provides benefit and purpose it provides benefit to your purpose there's certain things that you have to be willing to sacrifice for them in, in turn you understand what i'm saying because like like we i talked about before like a real man loves as god loves you understand what i'm saying the real man loves as god loves he's willing to serve his to serve his people you understand he's willing to serve his people and and you know if you really got somebody that's down for you that's that really just wants to be in your presence just because they want to they see your your vision and they love your vision and they want to enhance it and they want to be there with with and for you it's a whole different thing you understand but we have to be careful we have to be sure we have to take it seriously and let and and give them the opportunity to earn that place you get what i'm saying and it's, and it's very important it's not it's not frivolous it's not frivolous it's not as simple as you know listening to beyonce and talking about if you like it then you should have put a ring on it if you like it shouldn't i like chocolate ice cream what the fuck like what are we talking about if you like it put a ring on it like that's what i'm saying like society and all that stuff they have they have their ideas kind of muddled and people follow it and then they end up unhappy whole bunch of divorces and you know a lot of men running around talking about women ain't shit a lot of women running around talking about men ain't shit why because nobody took the time to actually get past the the new relationship or the honeymoon phase to actually see if they actually like the other person you understand they just rush to get married because everybody's you know in a rush to change their status especially the females right because remember this um you know we always talk about this type of thing but we you, we know that females are already emotional you understand so this new energy relationship phase affects them in most cases um more often and more intensely you understand so that's why you have to be a man you have to keep keep your head lot you know keep everything logical you understand and take the time let her sacrifice and show love show love and sacrifice and show favor and show good you know good intentions and good behavior and sacrifice over time you understand at least at least 12 to 18 months we get through that new energy phase and then we get to see oh she's really down for me she's really here for me like she really likes a nigga like seriously you know what i'm saying okay cool cool all right then you you've you've proven you've proven something to me so let's 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 you know let's step it up let's take it to the another to another level and and see and see if you can handle that now see what i'm saying so that's what it's all about man um again look it up you know if you think i'm bullshitting or whatever um or if you if you don't agree with this at all please put it in the comments you know what i'm saying but anyway like share subscribe put put it in the comments like i said hashtag the truth is inside you in the comments if you don't want to write nothing else you know what i'm saying but it helps out the video if it has more comments so i really appreciate it and if you made it this far to the video i really appreciate through the video i really appreciate you man thanks for hanging with me thanks for listening to me thanks for you know checking me out um uh 
the channel is growing and I appreciate you guys. Please share the video. Uh, what else? We got links in there. Check the t-shirts, check the 60 minute consultation, check the, ba uh, the bad boy membership, the bad boy membership contest and the game Kings documentary. Check all that stuff out, man. We really appreciate you. And I hope everybody's having a great day and the truth is inside you. Peace. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary, Game Kings, The Definition of Game. What's going on? It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And what I want to talk about today is the Bad Boy Membership Contest. All you have to do to be eligible to win the Bad Boy Membership Contest is to be a Bad Boy member. See, what we realize is that when guys join the Bad Boy Membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. So here's what you receive if you win the Bad Boy Membership Contest. A bottle of Bad Boy Cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece and a hundred dollar gift card to increase your chances of winning share this post in your story tag three friends and subscribe to mr lucario or the miles cunningham youtube channel the link is in the bio and follow real mr lucario and miles in the game on instagram the winner will be announced at the first of the month good luck